Out here, no one really honours the grave of Imran apart from his brother. A few weeks ago, Imran, a farmer, was shot dead by fundamentalist gunmen. He'd been accused of blasphemy, insulting the Prophet. Few people know exactly what he's meant to have said, but that didn't save him. When I saw him lying there, he says, I felt the blood leave my body and that I was now alone. His brother shows me under Pakistan's controversial laws the indictment. Blasphemy cases can end with the death penalty, but sometimes begin with just hearsay. Well, this is the original complaint against Imran, his brother, and it says that Imran was overheard in a cafe saying something derogatory against the Muslim prophet Muhammad. Now, the complainant doesn't want to specify exactly what those words were. He says out of respect for the Muslim faith. Imran was in custody for two years before a judge acquitted him, but he returned home to death threats that forced his family to move away from the farmland that fed them. Eventually, gunmen cornered Imran in the shoe shop. In his last panicked moments, we're told, he grabbed the man next to him for dear life. We found his widow and daughter living off a friend's charity, paralysed by grief and poverty. Four-year-old Kazma says she knows Daddy's dead, but that one day he will come back. His widow, however, told us that even now she supports the blasphemy laws, as they protect their faith. Speaking out against the laws can be fatal. Two high-profile politicians were this year gunned down for suggesting they be changed. Radical clerics justified these murders and, we learn, a stoking tension in this nearby town. We've just driven into the town to talk to people at the mosque where allegedly some of the provocators trying to organise this murder were based. And as soon as we got out of the car, uh, we were mobbed by a pretty angry crowd. I think at this point it's probably safest to leave. In this dusty town, a brutal and flawed type of justice, a sign of what a mix of poverty, religion and hate are becoming in Pakistan. Nick Payton Walsh, CNN, Talahore.